Hello everyone! In today's topic, we are going to talk about graphing points on a coordinate plane. So let us have anagrams. So for the first word, it is flat. For the second word, it is line. For the third word, it is graph. And for the fourth word, correct, it is coordinate. And for the fifth word, it is equation. And for the last one, it is linear. In this lesson, you will review how to graph points by using a coordinate plane and graph two variable linear equation. So in a coordinate plane, we have four quadrants, quadrant one, two, three, and four. And in quadrant 1, it is both, both x coordinate and the y coordinate are positive. And for the second quadrant, the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive. While in the third quadrant, both the x and y coordinates are negative. And in the fourth quadrant, the x coordinate is positive while the y coordinate is negative. So, in plotting points, there is a common error. The common error is that they interchange the x and the y. So, supposed to be, when we plot 2, 3, here is the point. But some of the students have this common error, which is, they are plotting it. The y comes first before the x, which should be, it is wrong. It should be the x comes first before your y. Now let us have to plot this x, y or the point 2, 4. So to plot 2, 4, we have that point. So the x comes first, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 4. Now let us have another one, negative 3, 5. Now, let us have another one, negative 4, negative 2. Now, let us have 3, negative 2. Four zero. So, in here, x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 0. So, therefore, it is along x-axis. Now let us have 0, negative 2. So x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 2. So this point lies along the y-axis. So here's a question for you. So which of the following points correctly shows where 5, negative 1 would be plotted? So assuming that those squares has one scale unit. So it is point C. So let us have another question. Which of the following points correctly shows where zero negative four will be plotted? Correct, it is at point C. The name of the coordinates of A, B, C, and D. So let us start with D. It is negative 4, 0. While point A is 0, 4. Point C is 0, negative 4. And B is 4, 0. As you can see, when x is equal to 0, it lies along the y-axis. But if y is equal to 0, the point lies along the x-axis. Now let us grab the following equation. So y is equal to 2x minus 1. This is an example of a two-variable linear equation. Before we are going to grab, we are going to make a table of values consisting of your x values and your y values. So let us assume that 
if x is equal to negative 2, what is y? So from here, the first step is that you copy the equation. And second step, you substitute the value of your x. So we have 2 negative 2 minus 4. 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 4. And negative 4 minus 1 is equal to negative 5. So if x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 5. Now let us have when x is equal to negative 1. So first we are going to copy the equation. And then we are going to substitute the value for your x which is negative 1, so we have 2 times negative 1 minus 1. So from here, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 1 is equal to negative 3. So when x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to negative 3. Now let us have another one. x is equal to 0. So copy the original equation. Substitute the value of your x, which is 0. Then 0 times 2 is equal to 0. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1. When x is equal to 1, copy the equation, substitute the value for your x. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have 1, 1. Now let us have the last value for x. When x is equal to 2, copy the equation. Substitute the value for your x, which is 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3. Now that we completed our table of values, we are ready to graph. So we are going to plot the coordinates. So from here, we are going to plot it on a coordinate plane. So it's color coding for the blue negative 2 negative 5, for the red negative 1 negative 3, for the green 0 negative 1, and for the brown 1 1, and for the yellow 2 3. After we plot the coordinates or points, we are going to connect the points and then name the line as y is equal to 2x minus 1. So whatever the equation, it is the name of the line. So before we are going to end up, please do your wiser than me worksheet 1. And reminder to everyone, PA1 on Friday. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye!